Hi everyone! In this video, I'll demonstrate the advantages of using the Create a JSON module with Databox in your scenarios. If you have created scenarios using the Databox app already on Integromat, you will know that when you use only a resource app such as Pipedrive and the Databox app, you have to write the JSON manually within the module and ensure that it is valid, like the correct commas, quotation marks, and so on. If the JSON is invalid, the module will not work correctly. To make things easier, you can add the create a JSON module to the scenario in which everything is clear and the JSON structure is built automatically by Integromat. So let's take a look at this scenario that employs the Pipedrive app, although you can use one of the hundreds of apps available on Integromat. It consists of the Pipedrive CRM watch deals module, the create JSON module, and the data box submit data module. To configure the Pipedrive module, first add or select an existing connection. Then let's select the lead in stage for this demo and the all open deals filter. Lastly, select the open status and set the limit to 10. Moving on to the JSON module, you first need to add a data structure by clicking this button here. You have two options to add a structure. The first option you can use is the generator if you already have a JSON structure. You can simply paste it in this box here. Here you can see that there are now two fields created by the JSON. You can type in data manually in these fields or simply map the elements outputted by the Pipedrive module. The second way is to manually create the fields by clicking the Add Item option. Let's create the same two as we just had. And now map the items. You can even use functions directly in Integromat, which are easier to set up than in Databox. For instance, you can use a simple if statement found here. Let's say if the currency is USD, then output dollar else output foreign. Or you can use much more complex functions like functions for working with arrays. Okay, here in the Databox module, again, you need to add or select an existing connection and select the mode. In this case, it's text. Now let's assume that the JSON module was not used in the scenario. In that case, you would need to write the entire JSON structure that contains the same elements from Pipedrive that was mapped in the JSON module. This can be a cumbersome task since the structure has to be error-free to work correctly. But the advantage of using the JSON module is that all you need to do now is map the JSON string element outputted by the JSON module which contains all the relevant details from Pipedrive in between opened and closed brackets. And that's it. Let's execute the scenario. Here you can see that the scenario executed successfully. The deal was retrieved from Pipedrive, the JSON structure was created, and the data was sent to Databox as intended. So that's how you can use the Create a JSON module in your scenarios instead of writing the entire structure in the Databox module. Thanks for watching and happy automating.